I think it's made for radio. I'm, I'm very surprised it hasn't been done more. Then Lavery saw her at the hotel in San Bernardino, wearing Crystal Kingsley's clothes and driving Crystal Kingsley's car. I mean, normally when my father gave me books, I was, I was slightly reticent about reading them. I thought, I thought they probably won't be what I want to read, you know. But uh, it totally blew me away. He could have told the police, but he decided to keep quiet. Maybe he saw an opportunity for some easy money holding back the truth. It's very dry, very ironic, and no nonsense. His dialogue really encapsulates his character. Because that decision meant his life wasn't worth a plug nickel. Ian Fleming was massively um, influenced by Chandler. So let's say someone like Bond is a reflection of Marlowe because he's dry, he's ironic, he's the drinker, you know, he's the lone wolf. These characters are still with us and they still live on and they are so totemic in their style that they will never ever age. He was a big man, but not more than six feet five inches tall and not wider than a beer truck. He wore a rough gray sports coat with white golf balls for buttons, a yellow tie and alligator shoes with white explosions on the toes. He looked about as inconspicuous as a tarantula on a slice of angel food. His eyes had a shine close to tears, and after a long time, he smiled. <laughs>